Okay, now I'm just going to talk about how to handle uh, micrometers. Like other instruments, such as a dial caliper, they're pretty sensitive. You don't want to drop them. You want to make sure you carefully handle these things. Um, so the way it works is as you twist back here on the thimble, you can see this part right here, which is called the spindle. It moves in and out until it closes up. Okay, you never want to jam it tight shut and you're going to check to see that it's on zero on the line which it seems to be right now uh, so we open it up to use it spin it like this you're going to hold it tight in this hand okay the part i know that i'm going to measure is kind of big so i'm going to open this up to about an inch this is a zero to one inch micrometer okay so i'm going to hold it like this it's really important that you hold it like this so it's steady in your hand and this allows you also to twist the thimble to get your measurement correct so you hold your little pinky in there, or sometimes people like to use this ring finger if it's more convenient, either one or both, however your hand fits best around it. Generally they use right-handed, um, it's the easiest way to read them, so unfortunately, sorry lefties, but we don't have it for you. So then you're gonna, I'm going to take this round part and measure with the micrometer. I'm going to want to make sure that I slowly open it up so I go bigger than the piece, and I want to measure it right across the middle. If I don't measure it in the middle area, uh, we're not going to get an accurate reading. I mean, if you think of it, you try to measure it out here off, off the center, it's going to be really off, okay? So it's important that we measure it at its largest area, which is the diameter, okay? So, and we're going to close it nice and easy. Don't want to jam it shut. You just want to do it till it stops. Look at it from the side. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it's not cocked this way, okay? and get it a little snug and just make sure that you that ratchet clicks that's good that's right where we're supposed to be uh, when you're done open it up take the part out make sure you close it up before you put it away in the case and again we always put these things away in cases just like dial calipers you want to bring it until it's almost shut all the way so it fits in the case good what you don't want to do is jam this thing shut. You don't want this jam tight, okay? Uh, so we just leave it as is, and you put it down in the case, and that's it.